Right, today we're going to talk about the five best tools that I use for cold email. These are my ride or die cold email tools. I don't think you can cold email without any of these, but I don't think you need really any other tools aside from these five. Um, there may be a few extras that you could add on, but these are the main ones that I always use. And if you want to make a follow-up video to this, I can, I can. But these are my main bread and butter tools. And I'm going to go through them in order of importance. Or maybe not order of importance so much, but just sort of how I use them in my flow. So the first thing we're going to go through and talk about is Google Sheets. Everyone knows what this is. It is really powerful, and I use it for all of my outreach tracking. Whenever I'm building a lead list of companies or people to reach out to, I always use Google Sheets because you can collaborate with virtual assistants very easily. You can see updates in real time. It's a great place to store all of your, all of your data when you're reaching out to somebody, when you're not, who you've already reached out to, what you said, first lines. Everything is in Google Sheets, and all of your lead list should be in Google Sheets. Number two... Hunter.io. Hunter is a great way to find people's email addresses. There's actually an add-on for Google Sheets as well where you can, once you have a list of websites, companies, and first and last names, you can actually just click a button and Hunter will automatically find all their emails for you or almost all of them. And there are, sometimes Hunter won't find all, every single email, in which case I have another trick where you can find someone's email anyway. If you want to learn that trick, check out the lead generation training document in the description down below. It has that and a bunch of other good stuff in there. It's free. You can have it. But Hunter's a great way to find someone's email. You can just go to uh, any any website and put it and hit enter, and it will find emails of the people working there. This is Robert and Alex, the CEO and the chairman of X27. Uh, you can also use an email finder where you go and you search for a person's name at first last name at a company, which is what happens in Google Sheets, and they'll find that actual person's email for you. In this case, they didn't find mine because my website's pretty small, but you can also have an email verifier. So if you want to verify that my email actually exists, one at a time or so, you can use Email Hunter, and it will actually check and show you that this is a real email if it is. It's a really good tool. Next up, Never Bounce. This is an awesome one. You can go through and find the deliverability status of all of your emails. So what that means is you can upload a list of emails that Hunter found and add them to this tool and it will actually go ahead and it will verify, it will give you a report on all of the emails, if they're valid, if they're accept all, if they're invalid. Why is this important? Because if you send emails to catch all or invalid emails and they bounce, a high bounce rate will, will show email clients that you're cold emailing, that you're spamming. It will make you uh, become marked as spam, which means people won't see your emails and all of the work you put into your cold email campaign will be for nothing since no one's reading your messages. So you want to make sure that you have valid emails. This will also help increase your open rate, which means you'll have higher response rates, etc. Really important. And this is super cheap too. You can get a ton of credits for like nothing. Like I think if you get 10,000 credits, it's 50 bucks. So 100,000, 10,000. You're paying like a fifth of a penny, or sorry, one twentieth of a penny per per uh, 20, 20 emails is, is one cent, basically, is kind of how it comes out. So it's, it's super cheap when you buy it in bulk. Uh, I highly recommend it. Next up is the cold email tool. There's a lot of cold email tools in the market. A lot of people use Lemlist, which is a good one. I personally use Mixmax. I, I think it's better than Lemlist and it, just because it's half the price, and it does everything that Lemlist does, except it doesn't have the warm-up feature. But, you know, I'm going to tell you guys that I actually usually don't warm up my emails at all. And I know that's like a sin, but I just never warm them up. And I don't really get marked as spam ever. I'm going to knock on wood. But generally speaking, I don't really use the warm-up tool that much. So I don't find it to be that valuable. When I do want to warm up, warm up an account, I'll use Outreach Bin. They, but only because they had a really, I got in really early and I got a really good deal. And they have a warm-up tool. So I just bought the warm-up feature. I got like 10 emails on that. But it was a lifetime account. And it was a good deal. Otherwise, I wouldn't use it. I don't think it's really worth it. I think uh, email clients are, are smarter than that. But that's just my take on it. You can do whatever you want. But Mixmax allows you to actually send your cold email campaigns. And um, it is a really, really powerful tool. I don't actually think I have any accounts active right now because I haven't been cold emailing for a while. But I'm about to get back to cold emailing. So I, I'm going to renew them. Uh, but Mixmax is how I send all my campaigns. And then lastly, Pipedrive. So 
I haven't used Pipedrive for a while because I've migrated all of my information over to HubSpot because my company is now using HubSpot as our central CRM. But back when I was using my own CRM, I, I actually still, and I, I did in the past, and I still do prefer Pipedrive. It's really cheap. It has a lot of awesome features. It's built specifically for salespeople. It's an awesome, awesome company, and it's not even that much money. Uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with Pipedrive. You can do email tracking. You can do uh, calling, emailing. You can send documents. You can schedule meetings. But I really love the sales pipeline feature, the, the deal forecasting, it shows you your projected revenue. You can track all of your notes for every single client in uh, the notes section. It will track every single interaction, every single email. It's just an awesome, awesome tool. This is after you've already booked the meeting and you've and you've gotten a response. So as soon as I would get a positive reply from a lead from a cold email, I would add them here as a lead. And then until I booked them into, a, once they actually booked a meeting with me, I would then move them over to the discovery meeting arrange section of my deal flow and move them through the pipeline so they would close or they would be won or lost, at which point I can move them through this section. I actually about to, I just closed this one, which is pretty cool, and I closed a few more deals that aren't here. So oh, when you close a deal, by the way, uh, let me see if I can close, I can close one that, have I closed any of these since I last spoke? I'll just do it because it's not actually, uh, here, look, when you close a deal, this is what happens. You get like a cool little animation like this. Pretty cool. You get someone, someone who has a soccer goal. It's a lot of fun. So it makes you feel good. It's a little extra dopamine after you win a sale. Anyway, these are the five tools that I use for cold email outreach. Google Sheets, Email Hunter. I use this one, this Never Bounce uh, lead, or sorry, um, psh, what's it called? Email Verifier, cold email outreach tool, and then a CRM system. Those are the main components that I use for email outreach. You can switch out different tools for each part of the flow. You could use Excel instead of Sheets. You could use Wall and Norbert instead of Email Finder. You could use Email Hunter instead of Never Bounce, actually. It's more expensive, though. You could use MixMax uh, or Lumbus instead of MixMax or HubSpot instead of Pipe, Pipe Drive. But these are the ones that I use. These are my favorite. And if you want to check out any of these tools for your own use, I'll have links to all of them down below in the description for you to use. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. Check out the lead generation training document that I have. Subscribe if you're new, because I think you probably are. Most of my viewers are not subscribed. We have a lot of content about sales, cold email, business, etc. And I think that's everything. Take it easy. Have a good one. Bye-bye.